just about there, are we? Just about there. Yeah, the problem there is they've got 35 footers with 75 footers and the speed differential is humongous. So the guy on the big Aegis boat is having a real trouble getting his, his act together there. There we go. There goes the gun. John, they're approaching the turning mark now. There'll be a lot of activity with the bowman and the spinnakers and the spinnaker poles. Every mistake, Jerry, you make? Well, indeed. Minutes, huh? Yes. Their broomstick spinnaker going up. You can see it. That's, it's full. That's more or less what you want to do. That's the sort of time you would need. The trick now, of course, is to get the genoa down because that is influencing the spinnaker. That's why it collapsed. And you'll see, in, there they go. They start dropping the genoa. Also, you want to keep as much weight out of the bar as possible so you don't send that many people forward. Really powering along beautifully there. I, I would imagine she's doing anything up to 16 knots now. Yes. And uh, Nancy at 64. And you can see on a straight power reach, they've got a huge advantage over the smaller boats. But then, of course, tactics come into play and general crew work over the weeks. Jerry? Yes, and particularly when night comes on, um, sailing at night is so important. here everywhere uh, right near where you are at the moment going around the mark we've got one yacht actually t-boning on the right of the screen so there's plenty of uh, mayhem and carnage behind you there at the moment she's positioned
Do you want to use it? Someone hold the clue up. That's someone must hold the clue. Greg, why don't you just play it from forward there? Red is the red. Yeah. Mm -hmm.